Today we're going to uh, talk about how to recognize when your cow is done milking. Uh, it's a real common question for people who just started to milk cows. I know when I was a kid and starting, that was the first lesson that I had to learn. And I think people make way too much of it and they get too worried about it. Um, I think uh, the primary consideration is to make sure the cow is milked out. Um, and I would prefer, because I only have four cows to milk here, and I'm not under pressure to milk 200 or 1500, I prefer to over milk them a little bit rather than under milk them because it's, uh, it's better for the others. As long as the vacuum is adjusted properly and the milking unit is working right and you don't see any indication of damage, uh, leaving the unit on for a minute or two longer isn't going to uh, matter. Uh, even if, as long as the cow doesn't show any signs of discomfort or distress. Dorothy is uh, dipping the cow's teeth with a sanitizing solution. It's iodine based. It's good for post, what they call post and pre milking dip. You can use it to clean the, uh, the teeth with and also dip the cows to uh, keep them sanitized after milking. And we start the cows um, before we put the unit on just to make sure the milk looks good and the, the, the teeth are working. And this, uh, this cow is not uh, what I would say. Um, she's not carrying a lot of milk right now. Her bag isn't real full. Uh, but um, she, you know, we do milk twice a day, and I don't push the cow, so you'll see a difference in her udder when we, uh, when we, uh, after we put the, when she's done milking. This is a real good indication that cows like to be milked, they enjoy it, and milking machine set up right, they'll stop doing whatever they're doing, she stopped with a plate of hay in her mouth and it's just standing there relaxing as she's being milked. Cows like being milked. And I personally think machine milking is a lot better than hand milking, it's a lot gentler. But again, the equipment has to be set up right. So we're beginning to see this cow, beginning to see her udder uh, break a little bit. She's a slow milker. She can take 10 or more minutes to milk out uh, just for, because of the nature of her teats. This old white cow here is a fast milker. She milks out in probably three minutes. You can see there's no milk right there. See at the bottom, this is where the milk reservoir is. It's completely empty. This cow is just about done. You can see the wrinkles in her udder. The wrinkles in her udder go from the top to the bottom of, the, of her udder. This side here still has a little bit of milk left in it. And she's carrying it kind of high. You can also see the wrinkles where the teeth go into the teeth up. This little bulge here is a little bit of milk that she still has in her. And I use three techniques. To, uh, hang on I use three techniques. I look at the car itself. There's no milk coming into it. If there's no milk going over the top of it, I, I'd say she's done. This cow is just about done in this quarter. That's her right rear quarter. She's still milking out in this left rear quarter. Um, again, she's a slow milker, but you can see the milk going into the claw right there. Another way to tell if they're done, which you can pull down and squeeze on the bottom of the inflation and you can actually feel the milk going through. So if, you're, if you have a cow like this that may finish up in one quarter first, and you're not quite sure where the milk is coming from, you can actually pull down and, and feel. In fact, you still feel quite a bit of milk coming out of this left rear. But she's just about done. A little bit of milk still coming up over the top. Right. 
She's done now. What Dorothy was doing there was uh, when the cow was done milking, she cleared the, the remaining milk out of the claw by turning the claw around upside down and letting it air out. Finally, if you're not sure, the last thing you can do when you dip a cow with this type of dip cup is you can bike them. Just go up on the others like that. And if you feel resistance and you feel the milk still in the udder, you know you, you can get that quarter of the dough. So there's about six different ways of telling. This is the final way to tell. And I have taught myself, sometimes units. Sometimes the tea will fold over on itself inside the tea cup, inside the um, inflation. Sometimes inflation will plugged up. But, um, so it's always good to do that final check just to make sure that all the borders are soft. And also, if, if you got a hard quarter and they're all milked up, then that means you might have a case of mastitis, which is good to know as well. But I will note that we've been milking in this barn for six years. Almost seven years and we haven't had a case of mastitis yet.